So let's conclude what we have done in the unit theory of consumer behavior. In this chapter, we have learned how a consumer maximizes his satisfaction. A consumer gets satisfaction from whatever he consumes. And in that consumption, he decides as to what to consume to maximize his satisfaction level. Not only this, he also sees that to get the maximum satisfaction level, he should be within his budget. So we have also learned that how a consumer allocates his income onto two or more goods to maximize his satisfaction. So we learned this with the help of utility. Utility is nothing but the want satisfying capacity of a product, of a commodity. And in utility, we learned what is marginal utility. Marginal utility is additional utility derived from consumption of an extra unit. The marginal utility analysis was propounded by Alfred Marshall. In marginal utility, we studied the diminishing marginal utility law. This law stated that the marginal utility derived from extra consumption always goes on diminishing. It keeps on declining or reducing. Then we did equimarginal utility. In equimarginal utility, we studied that when the consumer has two or more products and has an income in his hand to spend on two or more products. So how does he decide as to how much income should he spend on which product? We said there is a principle which helps him to decide how to allocate his income over various goods. That principle is MU of A divided by P of A equals to mu of b divided by p of b equals to mu of c divided by p of c for how much ever goods he wants to spend. Then we came to consumer surplus. We learned that consumer surplus is what a consumer is willing to pay for a product minus what he actually ends up paying. The difference between the two is what consumer surplus is. And lastly, we did indifference curve. We said indifference curve is a curve which gives you different combinations of goods leading to equal satisfaction. All the combinations on the curve give you equal level of satisfaction. In the indifference curve analysis, we did what is price line. Price line is nothing but the budget line. It is the maximum limit of expenditure you can do on the consumption of goods. And finally, we did consumer equilibrium. How does a consumer reach equilibrium? How does he know how much he can consume to maximize his satisfaction being within his budget? So this is what we've learned in the chapter, the theory on consumer behavior.